remove unused JavaScript. This is one of the most common speed test errors you will get with any Shopify store. But what does it mean? Why would I load up JavaScript that I don't need? You get a full explanation of the error on the Google test. They also tell us to check the coverage tab of the developers area where we see the amount that a certain asset is used. Unfortunately, their suggestion of going line by line to discover portions that are not used is simplistic in my point of view. On some of these files, I don't even get access. App scripts are hosted on the app server. And on the ones that I could edit, I would need to understand their complete functionality and implications in order to modify anything. So what's left? What can I do without breaking the functionality of the theme? Well, this error can be caused by multiple factors and I am going to start with the simplest one. You've uninstalled an app and you have residual code left on the theme. Unfortunately, when you install Shopify apps, some of them will install dependencies directly on your theme files. Those dependencies can be JavaScript files, CSS files, rendered snippets and so on. In order to remove those unneeded files, you will have to check your theme.liquid file and remove those mentions. If you know for example that you've installed Yotpo but you find a Yotpo script on your theme, you should remove it. If we talk about another app and you're not sure if you're using it or not, go to apps and see if the app is installed. Some scripts may belong to apps that are listed as sales channels as well. If you are still not sure about a script or an app, ask the person who managed the store. It could be that a specific script is connected to an external app or a service that is not listed on the Shopify's App Store. Now that you've removed all the leftover scripts, in theory everything else is used and needed. So why do we keep getting this error? That is because the JavaScript that Google marks as unused is not needed in the moment when the speed test happened. Google looks at how the site gets loaded and it's very important that the core content loads first and that happens fast. This is actually not bad if you think about it. Think it as a user. You navigate to a website and it immediately shows up. No lag. Under 3 seconds you see the website and you can start to interact with it. You don't care if all the libraries are loaded or what is still downloading in the background, as long as your interaction with the website is not interrupted. But how do you create a flawless interaction like that? Well, that starts first of all with choosing a good foundation theme, but this is a discussion for another video. For now, let's just assume that the theme you are using is not the problem. The next step is to pick apps and functionality wisely. If an app or functionality doesn't create real value and its use doesn't translate into more money for you, you should get rid of it. Let's say that all the apps are creating value and you plan to keep them all. Now when should their widgets show on the screen? Is there a reason for which their scripts should compete with the store's core elements while loading? Apps are businesses first and they need paying customers. They really need to ensure that when your store loads up, their widget shows on screen as fast as possible so that you can see it and keep paying for it. Of course, some apps need to display their widgets fast, but most of them don't. Their scripts should be lazily loaded. This brings me to number 2. You have app scripts that need to be lazy loaded. In my case I have a stamped IO script that comes from the review app. I don't mind if the app widgets load after the rest of the content so we can lazy load it. But how do you lazy load a script from an app? You can go to your theme.liquid file and search for the script there. If you find it, you can add a defer attribute to the script. Defer means that the script will be loaded only after the core elements are downloaded. You will have to check if the app is still running when using these attributes, some apps will not allow them. If you've added the defer attribute and the app is still loading on the screen, go and run another speed test and see if you still get the error. If defer doesn't work, maybe the app doesn't load anymore, you can try to add the async attribute. This attribute means that the script will be loaded in the same time as the document but without blocking its loading. If the app still runs with the async attribute on its script, go and run another Google test and check to see if the errors are still there. Now what if you don't find the unused script on the theme.liquid? This means you won't be able to use the defer or the async properties on a script tag. In this case, the script gets injected in your theme automatically. 
we will have to stop that from happening and to inject the script into the theme ourselves. We can trigger the injection upon human interaction, when the user clicks, scrolls or other inputs. To do that we will have to edit some code. We will go to the theme.liquid file again and search for the content for header tag. There is where the injection happens. Using liquid logic we will capture the tag, we will assign a modified content for header that is equal with our content for header but we are going to remove the script that is marked as unused. To get the URL of the script you will have to go to your store, right click, inspect and then go to the head tag. Inside the head tag you will find this inline script tags, open them up until you find the async function. Inside the async function you will find the URL you need to remove from the content for header. At this point the app should stop working on the front end of the store. If it doesn't stop working, there is one more way an app could inject its script into the theme and that is inside the customized dashboard under apps. In order for us to inject manually the script, the toggle for the app must be off. Now that we made sure that the app is off, we will add a small script that will trigger the injection of our code upon human interaction. So we stop the automatic injection of an app script into our theme and trigger the injection ourselves. Now what about the Shopify's injected scripts? You have Shopify scripts that can be lazy loaded. Same as apps, you can have Shopify scripts that are loaded but don't get triggered right away which makes them look like unused to Google. One such script can be the dynamic payment button script. This script gets attached to your theme when you enable the dynamic buttons under the add to cart buttons. This script can be quite demanding and can slow down your store quite a bit. Make sure that your customers are using these buttons, otherwise I would advise disabling them altogether. If you decide to keep them, we can do the same thing we've done with the app scripts. First find the script you want to stop from loading, head back to your theme.liquid and add another line that removes it from the content for header. Then go and insert another case in your human interaction script that will inject it when the user will start interacting with your store. These are three things you can do to reduce the unused JavaScript errors on your speed test. Make sure to test the functionality of the apps before publishing the changes. You can do that on a copy theme to ensure that the site won't display any errors to your customers. If you need help identifying and fixing unused JavaScript errors or other speed issues, visit shopioso.com and contact me there. If this video was of value to you, do drop me a comment. If you want to see more Shopify videos, do like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.